Thank you. Uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> um, my name is uh, Tai Zen, and uh, this is the Honorable Grandmaster, legendary, world-renowned LeonFood.com. Say hello. <laughs> so uh, we're the oh, co-founders of www.cryptocurrency.market, and uh, we just want to uh, share our thoughts quickly why we're here and why we support the Decred project, right? Um, Talk about uh, the problem that you see that's in uh, Bitcoin right now. Well, I, I think all of us see what's oh. I see what well, all of us are seeing. What's happening? Uh, what's happened over the last year with uh, Bitcoin, and uh, you know the block size debate, and uh, you know, you know so whether or not SegWit should have been implemented or not, and uh, you know everyone everyone thinks that it's a, a, a scaling issue, right? It, it's a uh, it's transactions per second is, yeah. is what, uh, you know, the, the debate has always been framed as, uh, should we do SegWit? Should we increase block size? Should we do Lightning Network? Should we do this? And you could, we can all see that the community has not been able to make a decision. And, you know, um, the reason for that is it, it's, not, it's, it's not whether or not we should do SegWit versus increasing block size. It's that there's no governance process in Bitcoin. So when, when, when the community hears the word governance, they assume that you're talking about a government and that people in the crypto space don't want you know, the government involved in their blockchain. So what does governance mean? Well, governance is a process on how a community makes a final decision. Uh, and there is no process in Bitcoin and in, in many other crypto projects, not just Bitcoin. Um, typically, uh, the only governance process is you have a benevolent dictator that kind of, uh, you know, makes a decision that he's, he has enough moral authority uh, to push through that decision. I would say that someone like Vitalik Buterin for Ethereum or someone like Charlie Lee for Litecoin or Satoshi Nakamoto if he were still around uh, for Bitcoin, right? But th that, in my view, clearly doesn't scale. You know, it, it's like you can have this, uh, this, uh, this person, this figurehead to make decisions, and, and that's, that's better than no governance, I would assume, <laughs> that, that what we see in Bitcoin, because if you have no one there, then we see exactly what's happening. Like, you know, a group of the community breaks off and forms Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold while, you know, and, and then, you know, it just devolves, and, and then no decisions are made. You look at how, how long it took SegWit uh, to finally go through, and... Um, you know, there was some back, you know, you could, all the drama that we're seeing right now is because there's no governance process. And I believe that going forward, um, the cryptocurrencies that eventually become, you know, the, the leader of our industry will have figured this out to some degree. Uh, right now, uh, Decred is one of those projects that is trying to have a governance process from the very beginning. And, uh, you know, whether or not Decred, you know, succeeds, I, I certainly hope it does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, I, we, you know, I believe that it's doing, uh, even if it doesn't, I believe that a lot of the work that's going on right now will be carried forward into the, you know, will be either adopted by other projects or, you know, some version of it in the future. Yeah, so well, one of the things that we saw was that, um, you know, with the Decred project was that they recognized this problem with this uh, governance issue with a final resolution or a conflict resolution uh, issue and that they recognized this several years ago and have been actively working on to solve this problem in the blockchain space. So that, that's the main reason why we, uh, when we first heard about it, uh, I think it was uh, Charlie Lee who yeah. tweeted out about Decred and then we researched it and we said, hey, these guys got, you know, they have the right idea because they see the problem they understand it, they recognize it, and they're actively building solutions for it. So that's why our team on uh, you know, the cryptocurrency.market channel, that's why we support this yeah. project. And, and I'd like to, to uh, make a point. It, it's that at least projects like Decred recognize the problem. You know, the Bitcoin community doesn't think this is a problem. Yeah. They, they think this is a feature. They think that, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> having, uh, you know, all this, these uh, trolling back and forth yeah. and, and uh, you know, having, you know, 10% of the mining go off and to do bit, uh, mine Bitcoin cash is a feature. Yeah. <laughs> so right. the, their, their common response is uh, when there's a lack of governance, yeah. that it's a feature, not a bug. Uh, the reality, it's a bug. It's, 
we don't believe that it's a feature. That's our opinion. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. so that's just a quick thought on why we support the project. So thanks, Mike.